A condolence book for former president of Cuba, Fidel Castro, has been opened at the Clement Payne Center on Crumpton Street. President of the Clement Payne Movement, David Comish Chong, urged all Barbadians to sign the book, which will be sent to the government and people of Cuba. Uh, we feel very strongly about this because Fidel Castro wasn't merely a Cuban hero. Fidel Castro was a, a Barbadian hero, a, a Solution hero, an African hero, a Latin American hero. He was really a giant of our Caribbean civilization. Um, the, the Cuban revolution that he led actually really cemented the principle of Caribbean independence and sovereignty, uh, Caribbean self-determination. This idea that even though we are small, small island nations, that we are serious countries, that we are entitled to independence and sovereignty and self-determination. And that's what he, he, he fought for his whole life. That's what he represented, you know? Um, Cuba, we are 90 miles away from the United States of America. I had the courage and audacity and self-respect to stand up and say, look, you know, you, you can't determine for us. You can't tell us what to do. You can't colonize us or turn us into a neo colony. As small as we are, we are going to stand on our own two feet. We are going to make our own decisions. We are going to be a real nation. And, you know, and that is what Fidel Castro stood for. And that is the imperishable principle that he, you know, he has given to us in this Caribbean region. In addition to that, you know, he, he, he did so much to educate um, the people of the Caribbean to offer Cuban scholarships. Um, he did so much to send Cuban doctors all over the world. Wherever there was human suffering, there was a hurricane, there was an Ebola outbreak. Cuban medical personnel were the first ones to, to respond. When uh, Southern Africa um, was in danger um, from racist white South African soldiers, it was Cuba who sent their soldiers to Angola to, to, to solidify the independence of Angola, to liberate Libya, to make it possible for Nelson Mandela to get his freedom and for apartheid to be destroyed in South Africa. So this is really a world historical figure.